I want to welcome you to episode one of Cooking with the King. <laughs> Cooking with King Fletch. I don't know my own kitchen. Um, these are some steaks that I've seasoned already. Um, some scallops, some lamb chops. Uh, we got lobster claw, baby spinach, red skin potatoes, a lemon, of course. This is mature Gouda cheese. I'm going to put this in the lobster mashed potatoes. That's what the lobster claws are for. Uh, we got some whole cloves of garlic and a few sprigs of thyme. We got our water boiling here for our mashed potatoes. Um, the reason why I didn't show myself seasoning the steak is because everybody in my house doesn't eat lamb chops. But the main focus today is the lamb chops and the scallops and stuff. So the steak was not, it's just for the people who don't eat lamb chops. Um, this is a Frenched. A Frenched rib rack of lamb, Frenched. Okay. This is a Frenched lamb chop rib, a uh, French rib chop uh, cut of lamb. And you see that layer of fat on there. A lot of people peel that off. I don't like to peel that off because this fat is very dense on lamb chops, and it creates a great crust if you leave it on there. And also the seasoning takes well to, to it. So what I do is I crisscross cut this fat just to make sure my seasoning gets down to the meat. Now, a lot of people will cook this rack whole, but I won't cook it whole. I like to put mine in two, double cut, because I like the crust on both sides of my meat. And if you cook it whole, once you get down to the center, you got two. I cook mine medium, so you'll have basically essentially no crust except on the outside, but I like to have mine on the sides of, of all of it. So I crisscross cut that layer of fat that's on the back. And like I said, this helps with the seasoning. It holds the seasoning very well. So, once I've crisscrossed that, I'm going to cut them into tubes. How I like to cook them. I really could be using a better knife, but this motherfucker is sharp as shit. That's what you want to see when you cut them in tubes. So what I was saying is, I like to have this seasoned and this seasoned, so when I cut it into a single, it's only one side that shows you that the actual cut is medium. And like I said, I like to have that crust on both sides. I like to taste my seasoning, my hard work. <laughs> So now I've got these cut in tubes. French uh, lamb racks usually come in seven or eight bones. This was eight, so I was lucky. I picked the one that I wanted. Um, here we go. I'm getting ready to season these. And uh, stay tuned. Zolari's garlic salt. The Italian herb season. This comes from Kroger. This is very, very good. It's a grinder, savory and spicy. Make sure you get savory and spicy. Sea salt, lowery salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and olive oil. Now, the olive oil, you're probably wondering why. And if you cook, you're probably not wondering why. It serves off almost as like a marinade for, uh, for anything you're cooking. It's a fat. So, of course, when you light your grill and it's on the grill, <clears throat> it helps the flames kiss the meat. It brings the flames up. So, um, it's like an igniter. Uh, it brings extra flavor to the meat. It actually cook it faster so that you can achieve that medium, that medium temperature in the middle that I like. Now, if you like uh, yours well done, I would not advise that you put the olive oil on there or put the, you have to make sure your flame is really low before you put the olive oil on there. But that's how I like mine's medium. So, I'm getting ready to season it and I'll show it to you after it's been seasoned. <coughs> So, as you can see, these babies are ready to hit that grill. They're beautiful, they're glistening because I have drizzled them with olive oil and gave them a good rub down. So it's almost like they're marinating right now. All sides are sheet. I need to take it all the way around. It's gonna crust up all the way around, baby. You see that? None of that is sticking to that pan. Because it's a non-stick pan, and like I said, the olive oil helps the seasoning adhere to the meat. So 
So, you know, a lot of times when you peel your meat off your pan, all the seasoning is on the pan. Not here, my friend. I'm real with you. So now I'm going to declaw this meat. These lobster claws. I saute them a little bit and a little bit of butter and a little lemon juice. And uh, those are gonna be chopped up. Not into small pieces, but like semi-bite-sized pieces to put into the lobster mashed potatoes. Stay tuned. There it is, the lobster claw meat. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'll cut that up into pieces, maybe like... Just to show you. I would cut it into like little bite-sized morsels like that. So I'm going to cut it up into those pieces. And, uh, you know, it's going to go on to the mashed potatoes. Okay. <clears throat> you want to make sure you got your nice cold beer. My beer of choice is Yingling. Um, put a cup on the freezer. Had them babies on standby. While you in here getting it in, you got your baby spinach. I'm gonna saute that spinach with a little bit of garlic, salt and pepper. Um, garlic, salt and pepper for the, excuse me, for the uh, giant scallops. Let me just let y'all see these scallops real quick. Look at how big these scallops are. These are some big scallops. Okay, you want to serve those in threes or fours. Um, as an, an adult plate, I'm gonna eat three or four of them. Uh, probably put three or four on the wife's plate. The kids will probably eat two. Um, they're big. You know what I mean? And then, like I said, we got steaks and lamb chops coming. So you're not going to need a whole lot. And I cannot wait to show y'all all this stuff once it's done. But it's going to be delicious, okay? I'm a beast in this kitchen. This is what I do. Uh, I've been asked to start this channel for years. Um, I cook sometimes and post it on my Instagram. I also do music. I need a haircut, so don't judge me right now. Today I'm cooking. I ain't rapping today. So don't judge me for that. Um, stay tuned. Okay, everybody. That's it. Final result. Scallops. Lots of mashed potatoes. We got our lamb chops. Medium. Beautiful plate, right? So, I'm Whoever want to rock and roll with the king, just let me know, and I'll show you how to do it. So now, I'm getting ready to go ahead and take this one on down, and smash out on this, and uh, see y'all next time. Don't forget to get your yingling.